Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome to the next tutorial video I would like to share to you guys So uh, let's proceed with the video First of all uh, Open your Adobe Anime And select Action Script 3.0 And then Your white canvas will appear And rename your first layer into Button then choose your rectangle tool or your oval tool depends on you guys so I choose oval tool then disable your stroke color by clicking the cross red line and change your fill color into any color you like for me I choose blue then draw your blue over ok then uh, orange it put it in, about in the center of the canvas then uh, select your selection tool your text tool and change your color of text into white alright so let me type something here I type here play Because I've changed the color to white, so there's no need for me to do this step. But it's okay now. I have to enlarge my text text size. Sorry. Okay. Then I put it in the middle of the circle or the oval. Right. I now select everything. As you can see here, I select everything. Then I convert this into symbol. Change the type into button and press OK. Right now you have to rename the instant name. For example, I type here play and I press enter. This will appear. So play is a reserve word. So type something else such as uh, play button and press enter. And OK. Now you are done with your first layer. Now create a second layer. Name it as alpha and select the second keyframe and press F6. So we have a new canvas. Okay. Then select your rectangle tool, change your color into black. Okay, resize the canvas a little bit so you can make a very huge black rectangle and select a long keyframe. Press F6 and right click on that layer and create classic key. Done. Then select the final keyframe of that layer and select your selection tool. Okay, select the rectangle box and go to color effect and change the style into alpha and change it into 80 to 85. Okay, done. The second step. Next one is the other layer. Create the new layer. Okay. And rename your layer as uh, loading. Enter. Okay, click the next keyframe, which is keyframe 41. And you major uh, enlarge back your canvas okay to make it more clear okay now uh, enable your stroke color change it to black your fill color change it to red and draw a very long rectangle across your white canvas as you can see here if i select everything you might see the black line this is not correct you have to choose only the red part of your rectangle like this see then from this you convert to symbol and change the style into graphic because you want to make it move okay press ok right click on the rectangle okay and transform and free transform as you can see here, there is white dot here. Move it to the left side of the box and shrink your rectangle to the left a little bit. Okay, I will make this uh, easier. Okay, I will just expand the rectangle into a short keyframe. Okay, just follow this video and enjoy for a little bit. 
F6 for every keyframe and select the original one and expand and select a new keyframe F6 and shrink it to the full of the rectangle okay done now we are settled with the third layer right now okay as you can see here uh, you can create a new layer and rename it as I think main page yeah and then select the next keyframe which is keyframe number 56 and press F6 so you may put any text here okay this is just a demo for you guys okay then I draw this uh, green rectangle okay never mind it depends on you I just you know uh, to give you some clue what to do okay then I type something inside here let me guess it up Thank you for watching. Mm. Second tutorial from Let me uh, rearrange the text first. Okay. I bold the text. Then I like to make the alignment to the center. Alright. Then I just move this text to the middle. And yeah, we are pretty done. Right. Okay, right now the last step. Please remember this last step. Okay, select the first keyframe and you want to call the action window by pressing F9. When you press F9, wait for a little bit, then an action window will appear. Alright, like this. Then click the code snippet. Okay, click the code snippet right here. Yeah. And then uh, go to action script, then go to timeline navigation, and go to click to go to frame and play. Yeah, this one. Click it. Okay, you may remove all the commands. Okay, as I taught you guys in the tutorial class, uh, we have to write the stop function because we want to stop at the first keyframe. We don't want it to play. Right now, this is number 5, change it to number 2 because it will start at the keyframe number 2. Okay, remember this. I have mentioned it in the class. Okay, now you can minimize this one. Okay, and also minimize this code snippet or you can just cancel it. Okay. And now we have to make it stop at the final keyframe. How to do it? It's the same. Press F9 and just type the stop function. Minimize it. Right, and then you may press uh, Ctrl plus F. Okay. Ta -da! And now you have your. Alright. I hope everybody enjoy my tutorial video and I really hope that you guys might understand and please memorize everything so that this tutorial video may help you during your lab test session, okay? So, uh, I think that's all for me. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.